Use this phrase to get exactly what you want. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny, and on this channel we talk about all things Law of Assumption. We talk about metaphysical concepts like quantum physics. We talk about the Law of Attraction and any other manifestation topics that are going to help you manifest the life of your dreams. Just want to let you guys know if you would like to get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, please check the description box down below. Today, we're talking about what can you do to become the version of yourself that already has your manifestation. One thing I can tell you is that in order to really truly start to manifest the things you desire to have, you're going to have to create a new version of yourself, okay? Neville talks about this when he talks about how to change your self-concept. There is no one to change but self. So since we know that in order for you to experience a new reality, you must change the version of yourself that you're seeing right now, I want to share with you how you're going to be able to do this, okay? I went from having no money <laughs> and being very scarce with money to having six figures or being able to create multiple sources of income. And I did this by changing my identity, okay? I don't identify as a broke person. I don't identify as a person who has to struggle to pay rent. When I look at my bank account, I'm not stressed about what's going on in there because I know that through my thoughts, my imagination, I can create whatever numbers I want to create in that bank account. So shifting your identity is going to really help you to be able to experience your reality the way that you want. Neville also talks about living in the wish fulfilled. So if you're going to live in the wish fulfilled, that means that you're thinking from the person who already has it. If you're in a loving, committed relationship with your specific person, your thoughts are going to be completely different from someone who is struggling to find love or who's worrying about why SP is not choosing them. When you're thinking from the end, you're thinking from the person who is picking out their wedding dress, who's doing invitations, or the person who is 10 years down the line with their baby and with their, their home and the love that they have for their spouse, they're renewing their vows. So you're thinking from the end what you already want to see, maybe seeing yourself grow old with this person. I visualize my husband and I with gray hair, like on the beach, living it up. That's what I see in my mind. And so putting yourself in the wish fulfilled also requires for you to see yourself differently. You do this enough, you will start to see circumstances in your life come into your reality to where you're like, wow, I'm starting to see movement. I want you to test this for yourself because a lot of the reason why people struggle with seeing the vision of themselves as if they already have it is because you don't really have a belief that this is possible. You need to saturate your mind with the law of assumption content. You need to saturate your mind with Neville Goddard's teachings if you love the law of assumption. You could also listen to Joe Dispenza on YouTube. You can listen to Joseph Murphy. All of these people, all of these great teachers are helping you to change your beliefs about what you see in your 3D reality. I truly believe that if you start to get down to your limiting beliefs and why you feel like you can't manifest things the way that you want them or why you don't think that things can come to you instantly. Once you get to saturate your mind with the idea that I am a master manifester, things come to me quickly. I always get what I want. Yes, I always get what I want. I'm the luckiest person in the world. When you start to change the belief about who you are and what you can accomplish, you start to see movement. You start to see your specific person. All of a sudden, this person can't stop calling you. It's because you don't identify as the needy, desperate person anymore. OK, the resistance that a lot of people have to manifesting is because the belief is that they can manifest. I cannot. Or how come it's taking too long? The time crunch conversation is one that I think I'm glad that we're finally having this conversation in the manifesting community because time is really not a real thing. It's a construct that we have created in our society. But if you think about 4D reality, there is no such thing as time. The sooner you can release resistance and the belief that you can manifest things quickly, boom, your manifestation is right in front of you. The resistance to 
allowing yourself to have like, no, I'm not sure. What if this happens? Release the resistance. See yourself as a new person. Think only from the end and you start to see your reality shift into whatever it is that you desire to have. OK, you have to test this for yourself. Don't just take my word for it now. I'm just, you know, a manifestation coach living her best life, helping people to live their best life. I know I've been there where most of you guys are. So that's why I'm telling you these things not only work for me, they work for my clients as well. I have the, the results to prove it. So also um, a lot of my clients, they tell me, oh, you know what? Well, I affirm. I always affirm. Yeah, but are you affirming enough? Saying your affirmation once a day you might want to do that more because your subconscious mind is going to be saturated with your affirmations. The more you do that, the more you're giving your subconscious mind a command that this is what she wants. She wants more of this. He wants more of this. You know, so you don't have to believe your affirmations at first, but I do want you to get in the habit of saying your affirmations throughout the day. Make make them light, make them fun. Remember, this is not supposed to be hard. This is supposed to be easy. We're supposed to be flowing on the path of least resistance, like Abraham Hicks says. And also Neville talks about taking the path of least action. It doesn't mean that you're sitting on the couch doing nothing. It means that you're actively using your imagination to see the reality that you want to create. You have to see your reality. You have to see it in your mind or you can if you if you're not good at visualizing you can use your inner conversations but i want you guys to affirm more i mean when i want something to happen quickly throughout the day i'm like yes i'm making a thousand dollars a day yes and that's my favorite affirmation because when i first started saying it i didn't believe it and i didn't even start making a thousand dollars a day but i started making more money and the more i said it finally months later i actually was making a thousand dollars a day because i had a digital product that was selling and doing really well so i know the power of repetition repeat your affirmations throughout the day make them light make them fun but please affirm because the more you do that you're going to be saturating your subconscious mind and that's where we need to go the subconscious mind has to be impressed and you do this all day, every day with the things that you don't want. So I know you can do it with the things that you do want. OK, now here is the phrase that I use to get exactly what I want all the time. OK, I am the version of myself who has all my desires. I am the version of myself that has all my desires. I used to say this all the time on repeat, all the time on repeat, right before bed, throughout the day. Whenever you feel doubtful, you replace that doubt or those fears with, I am the version of myself who already has my desires. Test this out. Test it out for one day. And you tell me how you feel after that. The more you say it, the more you will start to become the version who already has their desires. Shift your reality by shifting your thoughts, shifting your inner conversations, saturating your mind, repeating your affirmations, looking at people who already have what you desire to have and saying, wow, if they can do it, I can do it too. I am the version of myself who has all my desires. And if I must say so myself, the specific person course that I had for pre-sale last week, can I just say that people are getting results? The testimonials are coming in. And I'm going to be sharing a lot of those next week. However, if you're still interested, the price is still affordable. I didn't really raise the price like I said I was going to raise it because I want everybody to be able to afford it. So if you're still looking to manifest love and to get down to the nitty gritty of manifesting your specific person, check the description box because I have the link to purchase the course. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share. Subscribe if you have not. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye.